Batch-wise adsorption in Tank is a four-step process. The first step is to mix your solution with your adsorbent. So you have uh, B cubic meter of solution with the concentration C0, uh, and you have adsorbent M kilogram of adsorbent, and your Q0, how much adsorbent is adsorbed on the adsorbent initially. Then you stir and Perhaps you wait to, for equilibrium to uh, happen. Then you separate the liquid from the adsorbent. So you get uh, hopefully the same volume out again. Not necessarily, but we will usually assume that you just get that volume out. And then you have a new concentration here. And left here you have M and Q. Uh, and so Q is different from Q0, right? And Z is different than C0. Hopefully Z is smaller now than C0. And Q is larger than Q0. So that we have the, the sorbent have gone, had gone from the solution to uh, the sorbent. Otherwise, this would not be very successful. Uh, and then in the last step, you elevate uh, this um, adsorbent with some liquid so uh, you hopefully get back to the uh, original state that you have Q0 adsorbed. And this C uh, here is a different C than the one in, in the liquid that you get out. Uh, so hopefully this is a higher concentration. Uh, but it could be that this liquid is totally different uh, than the liquid you had to begin with. It could be uh, water at different pHs, it could be water at different temperatures and so on, but it could also be uh, pure water here with uh, some protein, for example, and then here you could have ethanol, for example. Okay, uh, let's try to make mass balances and see what happens. Uh, Knowing the terms we use, uh, so the terms we have on this page here, in this illustration, try to write down the mass balance for uh, adsorbent before and after the adsorption. So pause here and try to do that. Okay, did it work? What you should get is an equation like this. Uh, before the adsorption you have C0 times V gram of uh, adsorbent uh, in, in the solution, and you have M times Q0 on the adsorbent. Afterwards, you have V times C in the solution and M times Q on the adsorbent. And we can solve for Q and get this equation here. Now, note that this is actually a linear equation, right? Uh, but this is not enough because we have two unknowns, so we need an isotherm as well. And that could be, for example, uh, the Langmuir uh, isotherm. Uh, so now we have two unknowns and two equations. And this is essentially what you're going to do in Compulsory Task 3, but there you also have uh, the adsorption step.